Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the extended ECM at WF model for today's second video. This is your 30 day slash 42 day extended European outlook. And I shall get over that for you in a moment. Just to say about the first video sales at 6 a.m. UK one forecast. And we're going to be live at 6 p.m. with your tape of 14 there. It will include all of the regular features. So I shall see you a little bit later on uh, for that. Please like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Thank you so much to ECMWF.int for supplying the charts and the data as well, by the way. Thank you so much, EC. Right, going to start off with week one, mean sea level pressure anomaly, the week that we're currently in, 28th of October to uh, 4th of November. So we've got a big ridge, a big area of high pressure dominating weather across the north and west Europe. At the same time, there's a trough of low pressure pushing into the far northeast. And this ridge extending down through uh, many parts of Europe, actually. And low pressure through the far southwestern corner of uh, Iberia there. 500 millibar high tolling from the Arctic of the North Pole view down. Looking like this, plenty of high pressure through the North Atlantic and into the North and West Europe as well. Low pressure down towards the south of Spain and Portugal and low pressure in the far north and northeast. That'll bring some colder air into the extreme uh, northeast there probably. Right, so the temperature normally for weekend generally is above average, or for this week I should say, generally above average from the west right way over to the east. So Ireland, GK, France and much of Spain, Portugal coming out with above average temperatures. And those uh, a mild average temperature are dominant extending then right way across Europe to the uh, Black Sea and uh, Ukraine around here. Um, it is cold in the extreme north, so uh, Norway, Sweden and Finland, at least in northern regions, coming out with below average temperatures through there. And it's a little bit colder than average down across the far south of Spain and Portugal, but most of the Med actually looking uh, warmer than average this week. Absolutation wise, so wet in the extreme southwest and northeast, so uh, above average rainfall through uh, southern and eastern parts of uh, Spain and Portugal there. Also extending up into the far south of France um, along that uh, Mediterranean coast perhaps. And then into the extreme north as well, above average precipitation, which could be rain or snow through Norway, Sweden, and into Finland, just affecting the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania. Those southern parts of Sweden and Denmark are actually coming out drier than normal, and most other parts of Europe coming out drier than normal as well, particularly dry in the west, so Ireland, the UK, and France, along with the Low Countries, and Western Germany. Significantly driving abnormal, driving normal condition, driving average, significantly drier than normal conditions. What am I talking about? Uh, continuing there. <laughs> Meanwhile, over in the east, not quite as dry, but still on the uh, drier side. Right, that's week one done. Week two will be the fourth to the 11th of November. So, high and dry weather continues through these northern and western parts of Europe with this big area of high pressure. It's actually extending over towards the eastern side of Europe as well. So, just much of the continent under high pressure next week. 500 millibar heights, again, showing that big area of high pressure in control. And in the Senate Sea, low pressure, extreme east and uh, northeast of Europe. And also out in the Atlantic, the jet stream doing something uh, a little bit like that. It looks a bit like an Omega High, that one, actually. Temperature anomalies look like this. A bit of an east-west split setting up. So, becoming cooler or colder than average in these uh, eastern regions. That extends really from uh, western, southwestern Russia down into the Black Sea. Also affecting Ukraine, Romania, um, Hungary, Austria... The uh, Balkans as well, though uh, we see the Balkans cold and average, and into towards Greece and Turkey, the eastern portion of the Mediterranean again below average temperatures there next week. But out to the west, it's a good deal warmer through there. Check this out. We've got large portions of Scandinavia coming out above average. Ireland, the UK comes out above average. Much of southern. Western France above average temperatures and also down Spain and Portugal as well. And some places like 36 degrees above average. Ireland, for example, 
36 degrees above average southern Norway. Doing that as well for the Pyrenees and the Alps, 36 degrees above north. So very, very, unfortunately, a very mild uh, week to come again in West Europe next week, but colder in the east. And precipitation-wise, well, once again, we see a large area driving out of conditions uh, with that uh, um, high pressure in control. <coughs> So, sorry, everyone. So, driving average from Ireland to Portugal in the far west, right way over to the west of Russia in the east. Even the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Sterling, this rain coming out driving north. But we do see some wet average conditions through uh, portions of Norway, possibly through eastern parts of Spain, towards the Balearic Islands, and also affecting some parts of North Africa. But those really are the exceptions to rule. Most places will be very dry next week. Week 3 will be the 11th to the 18th of uh, November. Still that high pressure remains in control, centred around the UK and Ireland, but the ridge looks like it's through most of uh, Europe yet again. The 500 millibar height anomaly, once again, showing that area of high pressure through West Europe, a little bit more away from low pressure in the far east and north things. How about the temperature anomaly? Again, we see northwest, southeast Britain, so warmer or mild average in the north and the west, uh, cooler or colder than average in the east, particularly in the southeastern uh, corner. So the areas that have been so very hot through this year, like the Balkans, for example, um, we see a, a significant spell of cold and average conditions actually setting up through uh, weeks two and three there and as far as precipitation is concerned once again we've got drier than average conditions in the west it's a little bit wetter than average though in the far north week four will be the 18th 25th of november so this week with high pressure Showing signs of beginning to slip southwards, low pressure in the north Atlantic through Norwegian Sea, and maybe just reverting back to a slightly flatter westerly type flow there, perhaps. The 500 millibar height anomaly, again, looks a little bit westerly, looks a little bit zonal. High pressure through here, and then low pressure will be through there, and reverting back to those westerlies, return of westerlies, maybe. In the fourth week, temperature normally is generally above average, but we do see the southeast corner, particularly Greece and Turkey, with colder than average conditions and rainfall wise. So, yes, we start to see the driving average conditions shifting towards the south, and the north perhaps begins to have a hint of something a bit wetter. Week in, week zero, mostly it's four weeks out. Right, well, that's your first day. Look, you're done. Let's go week three, weeks five and six before we go, though. So, week five is the 25th November, 2nd of December. Again, all looking rather flat and westerly low pressure up here. High pressure is down there. Winds coming in from the west. The 500 millibar height anomaly. Again, with above average heights through the western of Europe. Lower pressure up here. All looks rather zonal. I reckon what about temperature anomaly? Most areas average or above and rainfall wise. West is to the north, dry to the south. I mean, lastly, week six will be the second to the ninth of December. Again, we see plenty of high pressure, but this time a little bit more in the Atlantic. That might start bringing more of a northwesterly flow, perhaps, into the west of but Europe. 500 millibar heights, again, showing above average heights through here, below average heights through there. Wind packs came from more of a northwesterly direction. Temperature anomalies still slightly above average, especially so in the north and west. And precipitation anomalies becoming wetter all the time in the north, but still pretty dry in the south and in the southwest. Remember, just a snapshot what model is showing. Um, uh, could look completely different. We'll do this again on Saturday with a UK and Ireland focus video, and indeed next week for the extended European outlook. Now, as we're into November next week, I reckon this video will shift back to its usual day normally it uh, would be released on a tuesday because so i think we might start bring back strat watch possibly as early as next week we might wait another couple of weeks so i'll let everybody know um you know what's gonna happen but when strat watch does come back on a wednesday then this video will go back to its normal tuesday upload day Anyway, I'll let everybody know about that next week. Uh, please, uh, can you like, share, subscribe on the video. And I'll see you a little bit later on for our 10 to 14 day live stream. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.